Welcome to Shield for Wrestling. In the ring already, we have Paddy Farrigan making his way down the aisle to the tune of the BC Boys Sabotage. Hopefully, he's not going to sabotage his own match. But it might be very hard when he's facing off against this man, Kendall Zumanov, who has been on something of a roll as the King of Dab Style. I don't think I've seen his shoulders pinned to the mat for more than three seconds in the entire time that we've been doing these shows. Just goes to show us how talented this kid is. He's given up a little bit of a, of a weird advantage against Paddy Flanagan. Paddy Flanagan is the bigger of the two men. However, he's all, Paddy is also giving up a bit of a height advantage because Paddy is the smaller of two men. So we should have a pretty evenly matched contest here in terms of physicality. Likes to have fun as this kid. He has fun in the ring. And we all have fun watching him. So it's looks said to be a pretty cool match. Referee double checking over Paddy Flanagan before we get things started. The reputation of the man does precede him. I can't say I blame him. <laughs> Referee calling for a dab by the look of things. Bell rings and we are underway. <laughs> <laughs> quick dab there by the King of the Dab style. And a quick boot there from Paddy Flanagan, starting things off with a front face headlock. Hooking around that, that left leg there, but it's not quite getting the advantage that he would like to get it because in comes Zumanov with a wrist lock, reverses it into a wrist lock, I should say. Paddy Flanagan trying to push him away, but again, that's what I was saying about that height advantage that Zumanov has. Able to just kind of push himself towards it. Doesn't matter though, the big man powers out. Kendall now prone in the corner. Feeling the, the effects of a knife edge chop there. It's something that you're fighting the fight, but to have your opponent taunt you, taunting you as you're fighting that fight is not fun. And I think Paddy Flanagan is paying the price for it as that drop kick has sent him outside, but outside is no safe place to be when you're facing off against Kendall Zumanov, who looked like he was well scouted there, unfortunately, by Paddy Flanagan, who uh, caught Kendall Zumanov with an uppercut as Zumanov was on his way out the ring with a suicide dive. Yes, he has done his research after all as he bounces his head off the ring apron. Of course, they've got a count of ten to make their way back into the ring. This is not a no holds barred. Well, it might be an idea to remain in your seats, folks, if you are here live at one of these shows. Paddy Flanagan losing, losing sorry, all of the uh, all of the ring to his advantage there. The ring apron on the outside, which is hard wood, but just as soon as I say that, Zumanov uses the ring to his advantage as he breaks, uses the rope to break the referee's three count. And now Paddy Flanagan using the ropes as leverage, which is illegal, remember, the referee has got the count of five, as Flanagan is pointing out there. 
but you can't hold someone when you're in the corner if you've got your hands on the ropes it's unfair leverage and that's an illegal choke and once again Flanagan using all of that five and the referee is being somewhat lenient he's already warned him once lateral press not quite getting barely getting a one very early on in this going now a sleeper hold applied by Paddy Flanagan wearing Zumanov down I think it might have been that that uppercut that really took him out so far in the matchup and if you are joining us this evening you will be happy to know that Storm Doris is pretty much let up so rather than have the violent storms outside hope we'll see a bit of a storm on the inside of that ring as Zumanov makes his way back up to his feet but is driven to the corner by Flanagan Using that strength advantage of his. Irish whip, corner to corner. Fanny Flanagan going for it, misses the splash. Ball up. Zumanov almost had the three, didn't quite manage to get it. And now, back elbow from Flanagan bringing Zumanov back down. And I think that advantage might be over now, but Zumanov still managing to kick out a two. It's a one count advantage over the last time he made a pin attempt. Oh, using the ropes again. Referee is right, in fr right there, you can see it. I'd say he was going for a neck breaker, but instead has held, held him there for longer, held him against the, the mouth. That's why the referee was counting there, that's an illegal hold. You're not supposed to use, you're not supposed to grab people by the mouth. By the mouth, I should say, by the hair. Mr. Soccer will be very disappointed if you ever heard me say something like that. And once again, corner to corner, Paddy Flanagan throwing Zumanov. This didn't work for him last time. It doesn't work for him this time as he runs into a boot. Ah! <laughs> Sitting sent on from the middle rope. Back heel kick now. Now Zumanov advancing from the second rope to the top rope. High risk maneuver coming up and it pays off! Missile drop kick from the top rope. Uh, and after a long period of time when we thought he was out of this thing, Zumanov is well and truly back in it. Flanagan is only just getting to his feet now. He's I'm not even sure he knows where he is at the moment. Zumanov went for it looked like he went for a spinning lobby. Flanagan countered that into a, uh, into a back suplex, into a, a flapjack, but it only got him the two count. And the look on his face says it all, wondering if he... Oh, now he's arguing with the referee, trying to convince him that he, had, he wasn't counting fast enough. And now he's arguing with the people here watching the match that they are wrong for counting with the referee. Flanagan is calling for it, but it doesn't look like it's gonna, he's going to hit his finishing move on Zumanov. It's his dab drop, his uh, double arm DDT, but lies it out, so more force going down towards the forehead. He hasn't managed to make a cover, though. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. It looks like he's going up towards the top rope. Again, this is high risk, because by the time it takes for him to get there, Flanagan might actually be back up, but he's calling for it. It looks like we're going to see that flying elbow right to the heart and that could be but isn't it the timekeeper had his hand on the ring on the uh, ring bell on the hammer <laughs> should it was I should say misquote myself there oh nice he hit that double arm did it he onto his knee tears Flanagan going for that spinning lariat again didn't quite catch it so High knee to the, the side of the head, it looks like, from Flanagan. The super knee, he calls it. Well, it looks like he's holding him into a cradle, but Zumanov is out of it. Misses with the clothesline, and now Paddy Flanagan had a hold of him in a half Nelson. Didn't manage to catch it. Ooh, and you heard it all the way around the world. That spinning lariat, that down lariat. Nicely done. And done the job, did that lariat. As Kendall Zumanov walks away the victor here over Paddy Flanagan who was making his debut here. Better luck next time Paddy Flanagan, it was a fair enough effort. But to the victor goes the spoils and the crown is on the head of the King of the Dab Style.